Welcome to the Solid Edge Tips and Tricks video, customizing the UI. The standard user interface provides an intuitive and productive way to drive Solid Edge. But did you know you can customize the panels, ribbon, command prompt, and the prompt bar, among other elements, to best suit the way you work? Here's how. The command bar can be displayed in a floating horizontal style or docked vertically with the edge bar. From the Solid Edge options, select the desired mode. The edge bar contains panels and tabs. The tabs can be easily reordered by dragging them to a new position. You can also drag the tab away from the edge bar and drop it into free space, allowing the tabs to float. This is ideal if you want to access the layers, feature library, or other tools such as the engineering reference at all times. Panels are also dockable. Use the small triangles with blue shading at the edges of the screen to dock the panels into position. To put the panels back into the edge bar, drop them on the center blind. Picking one of the triangles allows you to arrange the panels above each other or side by side. To hide any of the panels, simply activate and close the tab. To show the panel again, select it from the drop-down list. The edge bar can be resized by dragging along the border. It can also be set to auto-hide when not in use, or, alternatively, be displayed at all times using the pin. The Pathfinder can be expanded or collapsed by double-clicking the top node, thus providing more usable space in the graphics area. Double-clicking the Ribbon tab also expands or collapses it, making even more room for model display. Finally, the Prompt bar can be closed and in its absence, the messages are displayed in the Status bar. You can bring back the prompt bar by picking it in the Show Panes list. There are many more advanced UI customizations accessible from Solid Edge options. Explore and tweak them to adapt the fluent Solid Edge user interface to best suit your modeling style.